I'm Steph. I'm Michael. And today we get to look at the most anticipated game of the year, I think, is Pandemic Legacy Season Zero. Season Zero. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. <laughs> um, and, <laughs> and today uh, was the worst day ever for our <laughs> overhead camera, our little close-up camera. Everything just to totally decided crap out. just to not work, right? Right before the stream happened, nothing worked. Yeah, Steph's been messing with us for about an hour. I've been over an hour trying to get it back to the way it was. I don't like, I didn't do anything differently. <laughs> nope. No, so OBS just decides that it wants to cause it, problems every now and then. Yeah. So, I, don't know. I suggested that she look into some other software <laughs> that's not going to just randomly crap out on her. That sounds like a good no idea. Reason. So, I should probably look into that. <laughs> probably. You know, in her spare time when she's not playing all well, the Well, I was thinking maybe we can go try another camera for the overhead and see if like another camera would work. Well, there's a problem with all of the COVID stuff going on. You can't find a good video, a ca uh, good uh, webcam camera out there for any decent amount of money. And the one time I found one, yeah, I grabbed one for myself, <laughs> so we could actually have two permanent cameras out here. So, because um, I was uh, borrowing, yeah. <laughs> one of these for my computer upstairs. Oh my gosh, so, it's just like ridiculous. Yeah, it's because we posted pictures of I, the setup. I shouldn't have done that. Mistakes were made. <laughs> Mistakes were made. Oh um, wait, where's the setup? What setup? I, setup? I don't have this. I didn't have time to do the setup oh. today. So we're just doing so a regular. On... Gotcha. I, I mean, I need to look into <laughs> a new program to host the streaming. And I need to look into getting a nice little boom tripod type mechanic arm. So I can make this setup a little bit easier. If I could just leave it set up all the time, that'd be fine. That'd be I don't have a studio like that. This is my game table. This is where we play games just generally anyway. So having all well, I mean, of we that. We could have a studio. But we would not have all these fantastic games because uh, I'm not going to move them, <laughs> to be honest. There's a billion, tons of zillion games out there. So, um, it's good yeah. That, I mean, like some people just put up a green screen with stuff. No, 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 no. These are actual games uh, on an actual shelf. So we we want to actually keep all the games. So it's true. It's true. No studio. Right? No, no studio. I do need a better computer. I need a better. I need a better everything. So um, right now it's just my laptop that's like running on full power and it's like it's, <laughs> it doesn't like anything I'm telling it to do. So um, <laughs> everyone has stuff. She's just about got all the games. But the, this yeah. is the thing. They keep creating new games all the time. So literally, I, the past few days, I've been, I've been, you know, singing a little song. Every time we play a game, we get two more. Play one game, get two more. Play one game and get two more. And so literally, today, as we were playing a game, two more came. And the, the mailman came. Delivered off two games. Then we played another game. And then the mailman another came. Another mailman. And gave four games in one box it was more it was than like, that well four games in a box and then one other game so play one game get five more uh, and it's, it's a never ending uh, cycle of games in this house so there's there's a uh, unplayed shelf for just review copies that's right and everything is full on that shelf we keep pulling them off as quick as we can it's true it's true so yeah it's true uh, we'll, we'll figure out something for cartographers in a little while. For cartographers? Cartographers. Cartographers heroes. Yeah. But for now, we are going to play Pandemic Season Legacy. Oh. Um, Pandemic Legacy Season Zero. Just the prologue. No spoilers will be revealed in this. No spoilers. Just everything that you're going to learn on the prologue game. Right. And from what I understand, January is similar, except then it's for real. Yeah. Stickering yeah. everything. I so. want this game. Yeah, I want this game too. And but I want I mean I want to play this game right now. She wants to play like the whole thing. The whole thing. Right now. Did I even post I I don't even know if I I didn't do any social media. Nobody knows this event is happening. So even, I only see five viewers, so nobody knows it's I know nobody nobody knows it's happening. So let me go tell some people on the Facebooks that this is happening right now. So the question that we have is do do people are people interested in 
a fully spoilered playthrough, January to December, of this game. Uh, I know Dice Tower's done season one and two, uh, and we weren't streaming back then when we were doing our season one and two. By then, I'll have a better streaming setup. Oh, well, you'll have a better streaming <laughs> setup by Sunday. I, I am quite sure. I really hope so. You are going to have a better because streaming setup. I am setup. just so tired. I mean, it's just, it's so much heartache after heartache with this OBS program. And I, I feel like I have the ins and outs of it, but it's just like, it's tiring and it's taking up a lot of time. And I don't know if there's a better program out there. I'm sure there is. Um, so, But yeah, we can't, we can't get the right combination of cameras and... Yeah. And scenes. It's just not working. I know. And I don't know how to make it better. <laughs> so I need, I need to make it better. <laughs> All right. So. What's good? Tell Pandemic us. Legacy Season Zero. Um, if you've played Seasons 1 or 2, you're going to be familiar with a lot of the things that this game has going on. Like the Legacy deck and funding levels and game end upgrades and and dossiers and sealed boxes and everything. <laughs> I actually didn't so, put out any of the cards. I didn't have time to do anything. So do you want to hand me some cards to so shuffle? Tons of things. Oh, you haven't shuffled anything. No, you were not here. You were like... All right, so you got these... Look at these. You got a little, cute little passports. Oh my goodness. So and, you, and you have you, all your aliases you a, inside. You've got a passport for the blue... The white player. And we got a passport for... The blue green player. Everybody gets a passport, but what's yeah. cool about them is that there's three pages because everybody's gonna have an alias depending one for ally depending on what they're doing and one for Soviet. Oh, and if and you're, that's not a spoiler that's, even. That's not a spoiler. This is we don't know anything about anything right now, but we this is just what's in the box. Anything. Um. So all I know is I think I get to make up all my alias characters from the show Alias, which is you my favorite You love Alias. Show. It's my favorite. It's the best. It's the best. So like Pandemic, we're going to have, we're going to have city cards and we're going to have infection cards and we're going to have escalation cards, which are like epidemic cards. So we're going to get to all of that here in a second. I wish we had the overhead so I, I could show you what some of these look like. I guess we're just going to have to do it this way. So, the infection deck and the player draw deck where we're going to get uh, these cards. There we go. That's even better. <laughs> um, so, yes, you can shuffle. shuffle both of those sets. Shuffle up, I guess. <clears throat> We won't do any. We won't talk about anything in the other two games. Um, just... And the legacy deck. This says stop on this. this is draw this before you start your first full game in February. I mean January. With these cards, I'm dealing four to each player, right? Uh, with those, well, I've not gotten to set up yet. Oh, okay. Um, I I am not yet going to get to set up. So okay. Um. So there are a few rules that are slightly different from Pandemic or Pandemic Legacy games, which is why they say, uh, so like Pandemic Legacy Season 1 is a lot like normal Pandemic when you're starting out. Pandemic Legacy Season 2 introduces a lot of new mechanics, and so they recommend that you play the prologue several times. Steph and I probably played four or five times both of the other legacy games on yeah. the on the on legacy this will be our third game of this one that we're demonstrating today right and even still i think we're going to play a few more times just because at least once more i think th because we're just like not good at it <laughs> so we need to get better at it we need to get better <laughs> because we know whatever we're gonna do is gonna leave a mark for going into january well see that's the thing right <laughs> that's what makes it so cool about these legacy games is that your characters can gain new powers. They can get new debilitating things, sort of like uh, uh, you, like you did in some of the other seasons in the legacy versions. And uh, I'm guessing, this is just totally a guess because I don't know, I'm guessing that they can die and not be available anymore. So, Well, I think with, with this one, we have our passports. Right, and, and so, so one so of these our, are our aliases covers, one might of our covers die. can get blown. Right, can get blown. We could get found out, therefore we can't use it anymore. 
Um, so that's what I'm thinking is going to happen. I do definitely like the the theme of this better. Cause yeah, it's Charlotte like, says she loved the yeah, spy theme. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> which is why we get along. Because I was a spy in the military. So, um, Rookus is not into co-op games. Well... But he might watch our live stream if we do Legacy. Pandemic. So, yeah, he said he'd be interested in playing the Plague in a one versus many variant. I think. Is there a pandemic game that is like that? Oh, uh, the normal pandemic with an expansion, you can become the. Mm -hmm. There's like the terrorist that. I've never played Basically that. puts out the, the plagues in certain areas and stuff. Uh, and I okay. can't. I don't, rem I don't remember it because I, so I never is, did there... play Pandemic enough. With the same group when I had Vanilla Pandemic with the expansions. Ah, okay, so, okay. Yeah, so that there is there is that thing in Pandemic. So did this one build on the first two seasons such that you'd be better off having uh, played them? Well, uh, supposedly a lot. You'll catch a lot of the backstory, or I guess it'd be front story, since this is set in the past. You'll catch a lot of the front story references. As you play through this, um, I would recommend starting off with season one, then season two, then season zero. Again, we haven't so played far with this, what I know. so it's hard to know. <laughs> now, do you have to have played them? No. Yeah. You could go ahead and just play this right off the bat. Yeah. But Pandemic Legacy season one is so much like normal Pandemic that I think it's a good... It's a good stepping stone for the next two legacy for season two and season zero. I think. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Um, Pandemic game where everyone plays the disease, but that's not the same. Yeah, that's that's con contagion. I think it's called something. I don't know. Yeah, it's. I think it's called like contagion. <laughs> I did oh yeah, play there it. was play Inc. and I, I think play Inc. was just okay. I didn't play did, Plague yeah. Inc., but I played... I love Plague Inc., the, the app and computer game. Oh, okay, okay. So... Nice. That's um, like where you 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 are the virus in Yeah, Plague, I think you could just Plague play Inc. this one um, if you wanted to just play this one. And, you know what? Honestly, if you, pro if you like this one, you probably should check out the other ones, even though the theme isn't as appealing. It will probably give us the same, like, wow factor. I mean... I didn't think the, I was ever going to like Pandemic Legacy. I'm like, I'm never playing that game. I'm never playing that game. And then I played it. I'm like, wow, it was amazing. <laughs> yeah. Well, you don't like anything with medical. Medical or zombie? I, it's I, just I, I don't really you, like right? that theme. And yeah, so. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you love. You, you, I don't know. You really like. You loved Pandemic Legacy. Matter of fact, was that your game of the year last year? Season one? I don't, no, I only played it, was, it this year. We only started. We only played it this year. Pandemic Legacy season one and two. Yes. We played in twenty twenty. Yeah, during COVID. <laughs> it seems like forever ago. <laughs> it but does it seem was like, like forever it ago. It was maybe five months ago, but that does seem like forever ago at this point. <laughs> like, yeah, we did play it. We played it straight through, and then I'm like, let's play the next one. And you're like, well, let's wait a week, and then <laughs> so we, <laughs> then we played through that. So this is set in nineteen sixty two. And I will read to you from December 1961. An unremarkable job description. Graduating medical students needed for government program. You quickly discovered that government program meant the CIA. They believed it easier to teach a doctor how to be a spy than the other way around, and you were quickly swept into months of training at Camp Swampy. Meanwhile, a fanatical research group within the Soviet Union has been developing bioweapons in a bid to end the Cold War and destroy the West. Having failed to weaponize their virus project, they recently made a breakthrough with a different pathogen they call Medusa. Ooh. Your training has ended and it's time to take the field. So, there's a mission briefing at the bottom here. It is from uh, Collection Management Officer John Cooper. Welcome, agents. Glad to see you made it through Swampy. I'm your collection management officer, your handler, basically. John Cooper's the name, but you can call me Coop. There's a lot to talk about, so I'm going to dive right in. What? That was me diving. Oh, di she's diving right <laughs> in. <laughs> Analytics are telling us that the Reds are cooking up something big, a top-secret plague they call Project Medusa. Now, their research ain't complete yet, but if they manage to weaponize and deploy it, I'm told the death toll could be in the tens of millions. I get it, we're dropping you in the deep end, but your medical training gives you the edge here, and this is what we call a time of great need. 
Gather intel on the Medusa Plague, samples, research notes, whatever you can find. We gotta know what it does, where they're making it, and how they plan to spread it. Got a related job as well. Locate Agent Charles Savick, one of our best. The Reds caught him in Siberia last year, and sadly, we could not extract him. Good news is, he managed to get loose, but he hasn't made contact yet. We gotta find out, did he escape, or did they let him go? Is he working for the Reds now? Did he learn anything about Medusa while he was inside? Find him, talk to him, and bring him home if you can. Just be careful. He's ruthless, smart as hell, and twice as dangerous. Last thing I have is a bit of fair warning. The CIA is a peerless organization dedicated to the defense of this country, but a well-oiled machine it is not. There's procedures, committees, meetings, approvals, and a hell of a lot of paperwork, especially for junior agents like yourselves. All that said, don't worry too much about the red tape. Your buddy Coop will keep the worst of it off your back. You focus on Medusa and Savick. No problem for Swampy's top of 61, am I right? So, uh, they want you to uh, go through uh, the top few cards of the Legacy deck. So, under setup, check the Legacy deck and prepare objectives. When you draw the first card of the Legacy deck, there's still not any spoilers, so don't worry. We get a mission briefing. Oh, look, it's from Coop. Agents, it's time to head out. It's okay to be a little nervous. Every new agent is. This one's pretty straightforward, though. We have intel on a sample of the Medusa Plague somewhere in Europe and a sighting of Agent Sabic in Novosibirsk. Uh, you need to pull out all the, the Europe cards, remember? Ah, oh, boo. I had them all separated. And she's, <laughs> she shuffled them all. I did have them all separate. I forgot. Totally. Couple of reminders here before you go. First, try to keep a handle on Soviet agents. But remember that your team will do a lot of the heavy lifting once you set them up. That's really difficult, by the way. Second, don't forget that paint, flying to allied countries is easy. We've paid off all the right people. If you need to go somewhere friendly to the Reds, you can do it. But flying won't be easy. So, the next couple of cards says draw the next two cards. They are your prologue objectives. Set up these objectives following the instructions printed on them. When you complete or fail an objective, immediately read its debrief entry in the debrief book. Oh, hey, look, this is new. Whoops. <laughs> rules yeah, so, down, rules down. No rules down. It's a set of, set of these down. Hey, Rob, welcome to the chat. Look, it's a debrief book. Hey, Rob. Nice. So, yes. We're so very free, prologue. We're so very excited for this. Oh, absolutely. And it was kind of like crazy, Rob, because right before the stream happened, all my cameras broke. Yep. <laughs> so, our normal overhead close-up camera, gone. Uh, There's nothing here. It so, is so sad. It was can, so sad. We can actually turn it on, but we lose everything else. We lose everything else. So, so I'm like, ah. We'll figure it out. <laughs> we'll figure it out. So. It got this. <laughs> um... When we complete one of these objectives or when we, when don't we fail one. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Put it, put it under it. there. <laughs> I'm not going to look at it. We are going to have to read one of these one of these sections in the book and then do what it says. Also, remember that the number of cities in each region and each affiliation are shown in this cool little reference area down here. So, we have two, count them, two objectives. We're going to search for Agent Sevic and we're going to retrieve the Project Medusa sample, which is somewhere in Europe. Um, on this card, it says, acquire target in one unknown city in Europe. And we're also going to search for Agent Sabic. We're mm. going to acquire this target in Novosibirsk in Russia. Yeah, I'll let you do all the talking because I don't know how to pronounce anything. I'm not <laughs> certain I'm getting that pronounced correctly. So, <laughs> just like in Legacy Seasons 1 and 2, you're going to have a certain number of object objectives to do. If you switch, can switch over to Let's switch. the game camera. Let's look. Okay. Yeah, this it is could be in Savage Bloodstream. <laughs> oh, look. We've got our blue microphone in the corner here. Um, our little... Oh, it's there. It's in the camera shot. Oh, well. <laughs> we'll work on that. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, it's possible that, that it could be inside of Split Stream. That would be really interesting. Yeah. Um, so. Oops. Um, <laughs> all right, we got four cards each, right? We're all going to start in Washington instead of Atlanta. Hey, no CDC at the time, right? Right. If you'll notice, we got the little, we've got a, uh, a safe house right here. And so we're going to put one of these 
boop, in Washington. And we also start there as well. Yes. Um, our objectors are up here. Uh, although you probably can't see it, there are two stars here for the prologue, which means that we have to complete two objectives two. in order to pass. Um, starting with Pandemic Legacy Season Zero, you can also have partial, partially completed objectives um, where you can complete some of them and you'll still move on to the next, uh, the next game. Um, all objectives complete. We succeed. Yes, we proceed to the next month. Woo! And, uh, well, I'll talk about a little bit about everything uh, in a minute. If we fail one objective, we are adequate. Mm. It's still good enough. We're going to keep proceeding to the next month. And if we have two or more objectives failed, failing. So we're not Flat giving out. any spoilers. This There's is, still no spoilers. This, this is all... This is just the prologue this is, game. This is... Base rules. So everybody is gonna when everyone's you open, gonna know this. when you open no the box. No stickers are in here. This is the game you'll play several times before you jump into the legacy aspect of the game. So you can stick around and watch the, the basic. And gameplay. we will give away no spoilers. We will give we away all of the rules. We will reveal all of that. We will not reveal any spoilers in this video. <laughs> <laughs> and we're acing the rules. Well, oh. we have we did play it a couple of times the other night, Rob, um, and I love it. It, I love yeah, how it, it adds yeah. different things so good. without being too far off of the original, yet still having different ways of, of completing all these things. And it feels it feels different enough with the same sort of core mechanics. I love it. Yeah. So um, we are going to have these cool Russian agents. <laughs> I don't know what the best way to do this is. I know. Is it's so sad or overhead. Our overhead. <laughs> Not, um, not that you can see these at the overhead. I know, because anyway. they're red. <laughs> and we've got red. a pink screen. <laughs> so, pink screen. anyway, there are these little, these little <laughs> red, red agents, as they are. The red agents. Um, and when there are three of them, they don't exactly outbreak like an epidemic will. But we're going to talk about that here in a second. Uh, we will have, what are these counters called? Um, um, in, in incidents. Incident tokens. Incidents. Incident tokens. Have this little exclamation point on the top and look like this little multi-layered building. And we We're do gonna, not want these. We don't want those at all. That's what happens instead of outbreaks. Yes. And we so, don't we don't want that. Uh, did you shuffle I everything? I shuffled it. Shuffle up, I guess. I did. Good. But I need to do this before I put the um, escalation cards. So we get we have four of these, I think. Yes, we have four. Yes. So four to each. Four at a, with a two-player game. Right. And now I need the escalations. And now I'll, you need I'll the escalations. Set, I'll, set our doom. So, I'll set our doom right here. Just like <laughs> Pandemic, she is going to split up the rest of the deck into five different stacks. Right. And one in each stack. Hey, I bet you're familiar with this from normal Pandemic, right? Yes. This is... So we've cool. prepared the board and the pieces. Uh, we have added agents to... We have not added agents to the board. Haha, ha, let's do that. So, I'm going to draw from this deck. One, two, three. We need three agents, uh, three bad agents in Calcutta. Boom. And they don't go on these dots. You might think they go on the dots, but that's not what the dots are for. We'll talk about that. In a we bit. have one fewer because one card yes, is under here. Yes, that is correct. We have three in Manila. Manila wafers? M Manila wafers. Uh, over here, Philippines. Boom. We have three in, of course, they're going to be way off in the middle of nowhere. Oh, look, Novosibirsk. That's where we're, we're going there anyway. How cool is that? We're going to deal off three more. Two in New York, two in Madrid, two in Atlanta. Oh, my gosh. All right. So you're you're shuffling those up? I'm each trying, time. yeah. You're trying. Uh, New York, <laughs> Madrid, And one each. This sets up basically like you set up the viruses on the normal pandemic. pandemic. Yeah. Sao Paulo, Brazil. Uh, one in Cairo. Boom. One in Calcutta. No wait, Osaka, not Calcutta. All right. All right. Excellent. This goes in the discard pile. This goes here. I know it's sad. We're, we're, we're already. I already feel the tension. All right. So, oh, uh, you've already added the escalation cards. You've already uh, the, the, yes. uh, reassembled the player deck. We have to choose characters. 
All right, so we have a starting off choice of four characters. I don't know where they are. (laughs) So much for the setup. Well, I did. (laughs) I got the cameras working as best I could. (laughs) That that was my job. All right, so uh, when we, um, whenever we lose our main alias, we're going to be stuck with a temporary alias. Each of these temporary aliases. (laughs) Alien. Actually have job roles, Alien. Alien. No, have kidding. job roles on them. We have the clinic planner, the medical conference coordinator, the research assistant, and the hospital administrator. Oh, man. Ooh. There's some good ones. Uh, I don't know. Read that. Which one? Which ones? Read them. Well, I can read them, but I think we ought to tell people what the di- what the rules differences are here before we go into these. So that, that okay. way these powers actually make sense to them. Yes. All right? Yes. <clears throat> so... Uh, the first thing you are going to do on a player turn is to check surveillance. The Soviets are watching us every minute of every day. Hey, you know those circles that we uh, have here on the board? Some of them have eyes on them. You see, this one's got one eyeball. You can kind of see a little, a little two. red dot. There's three of them in Moscow yeah. because they're really watching us here. Yeah, we don't so, want to go there. <laughs> if you start your turn in a city with a surveillance, you're going to lose one cover for every surveillance symbol in that city. But hey, wait. We're in the prologue game. We're so. in the prologue game, so we don't have cover to lose normally. In our passport. Normally in your passport. That's yeah. the best way to do this. So we got cover dots here, right? Yeah, at the bottom. And they're we'll scratch it off. off. We don't know what to expect with that. Something bad could happen. Yeah, we might lose that. our cover. Yeah, my, so. our cover might be burned. Blown. Yeah. <laughs> so, I think it's burned. I think it has a little burn mark. Anyway. Um, but because we it's a pro- law game, we're just going to lose one card from our hand, which yes, is so also painful. It actually says on the bottom of these cards, when playing with a temporary alias, for every cover you would scratch, discard one card if you have any instead. So if you have no cards, no problem. Yeah. We're, we, you don't want to discard cards. You know this. Right. You've played Pandemic enough, and you're right? And you're going to have cards at the start of your turn because you're going to draw two cards unless they're both Epidemics well, and you had... At the, at the end of last turn, yeah. So you're going to probably it, have cards. Right, right, right. All right, after you check surveillance, and that happens at the start of your turn. Right. So you either want someone who can move you off of a spot Which, that's being hey, surveilled. Which, something like that. There is something like that. Check that oh. out. Oh. Then we're going to do actions. Four actions a turn, as you do. Um, driving or ferrying is exactly like normal. Commercial flight, this one changes from the original rules. If So you'll notice that there are allied cities. They will have... Blue. You know what? I've got them inside the passports. Yeah. They'll you're have gonna a little have icon a... that looks like this. The that means it's an icon. allied c- uh, city. If it's a neutral city, it'll look like this. It'll have a gray globe. And... If it's a Soviet city, it'll the, look like this. Yeah, the red. And so, if you are flying to an allied city, reveal an allied city card in your hand, and you can move to that city. Hey, guess what? You don't have to discard that card. Woohoo! That's awesome. So, yeah, it's kind of cool because um, on the cards, you're going to be looking at two different things now. You're going to look at the regions the cards are at, and you're going to look at the symbols in the corner. To whether it's allied, neutral, or Soviet. All right, so... Commercial flight to a neutral city, you it basically works just like commercial flights normally do in Pandemic. Discard a neutral city card, and you get to move to that city. That's good. Uh, you can't do this for Soviet cities. No. You cannot discard a Soviet card <laughs> That's a good in try. order to move with the commercial flight action to that city. Yeah. All right. So, there is such a thing as a, an unrecorded flight, where you discard the city matching your city to fly out from that city to move anywhere on the board. Mm -hmm. So that's good. That's how to get to a Soviet city quickly. Yes. So, uh, like for two actions, you could use your New York card to, number one, fly to New York for free, keeping that New York card, and the second action, discard that New York card to fly anywhere in the world. Now that's gonna cost you two actions, but it's only gonna cost you that one card. Sometimes it's faster than moving. So, uh, another action, neutralize an agent. Hey, that works just like removing a virus in a pandemic, Mm -hmm. right? Because if this works like, if these like work like viruses, then, you know, just pop them off. Yeah. Um, Share intel. 
much like it is in Pandemic. You, ha you can give a city card that matches your current city. You can take a card that matches your city, unless you have an ability that allows you to give any card no matter where you are. Hmm, that might exist. We'll talk about that. We in like that. We like that. Hand limit of seven cards, as usual. Okay. Um, you can build a safe house. This is a little different than building the uh, um, the little, little uh, virology center. What is it called? These uh, things are wicked cute, too. I really like them. They're really cool. Discard a card matching your city to place a safe house in your city. It's going to last the rest of the game. Um, there is no shuttle flight action. You cannot, like if I plop down a safe house here in Karachi, you cannot do a shuttle flight to just, boom, end no. up from safe house to safe house. That no. does not exist. Mm -hmm. So, don't count on it. Don't count on it. <laughs> um, you can identify a target city. Mm -hmm. All right? Hey, look, we've got a target city underneath a subjective. It's somewhere in Europe. We need to figure out where that target city is before we can, mm, we can make, fix it. <laughs> we can do this one of two ways. Yes. The easy way or the hard way. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> we can do this one of two Let's ways. Let's do it the easy way. <laughs> All right. Um, the hard way is by stationing these really cool, these really, what's the best way to do this? Uh, these really cool vans. These are teams. They They've have... got little ally markers on them. It's either allied, neutral, or Soviet. Yeah, so they have all these teams. So we have a bunch of these, like, vans. And they go out and just, like... It's like the mystery... It's like the mystery machine, man! Um, <laughs> they, they, they do like, look like it. Let's go out and take out some spies, Scoob! Yeah. Um, oh, my goodness. Yeah! <laughs> um, <laughs> so, um... One way you can do it is just station a bunch of these out here, but if a <laughs> van, <laughs> rainbow van. Nice. Free candy. Um, <clears throat> so um, you can station your vans and then you can do this action called an acquire targets action. Um, if, uh, let's see here. No. To acquire targets in an unknown city, you must position active teams in the city or cities you think might be the correct city. And then you do the acquire targets action and reveal that city card. Hey, if you have an active team in that city, yay, complete. If you don't, you mark it as failed and you can't go back to it. Oh, well, I mean, we, it we is, don't want to do we that. We don't want that. So, hey, there is an easier way to do it. Than I didn't even know putting, that that was really a thing. You didn't we, know that was we, a thing? We didn't do that in the first two games that we played. So... The easy way to do it. Yeah. I, I bet there's going to be opportunities that you have to do it that way. I'm probably, I'm, sure. I'm guessing so. I'm guessing so. But the easy way is to, while you are at a safe house, you discard three city cards matching your region to reveal an unknown target city of that region mm -hmm. under an objective card. So we would have to, number one, have, the safe uh, house. we would have to be in We'd have to be in that region. Well, we don't have to have a safe house. No, uh, no wait. Yes, no, while it is yes, while it is safe house. Yeah. You are correct. We'd have to have a safe house in Europe. We have to discard three city cards of Europe, and we get to reveal an unknown target city for something in Europe. You're in Europe, and so that means so right now on the board it tells us there are eleven. There are eleven. So one of them's out of place. So we're gonna need to find three of these Europe cards. Correct. And then get to a safe house in Europe, and then get a. After van. we've created a safe house in Europe, which has consumed one of those cards. Maybe unless we take a helpful person with special or, traits. Or there is an event that allows. Oh, there a is free an event. Safe house. If we're lucky enough That's to find good that too. event. <laughs> so. Um, so that objective now has a known city, like the search for agent Sabic has a known city. It's a choir target in Novo, right? Novo Sibirsk, which I will just call Novo from now on. <laughs> it's going to be here, right? All you have to do for a known city is to have an active team in that city. Now for Novo, an active team is one that matches that city. So we you see, this is a Soviet. Soviet. Novosibirsk is Soviet. We have to park this team here. 
Yeah. And I think we want to anyway because we already have a this problem. Yes, we do. So we should work on that. We should early. work on that Just really strategy, quickly. like putting that out there. <laughs> so let's talk about these teams. How do you assemble a team? Good question. I'm glad you asked. While you're at a safe house, discard five city cards matching the affiliation of your city. So if you are ma- if you're trying to create one of these Soviet teams, discard five. Soviet cards. Ouch. So Which that, there's 14 of those Soviets and 14 allies and 20 neutrals. 20 neutral. Now, here's the catch. So, you might say, well, why not create a neutral team? Ah, if you create a neutral team and you send him to a Soviet city, he is an inactive team. He doesn't know what he, to do. He's like flailing so around. You put him face up when he's in a, in a city that matches his type. <laughs> When he is in a, a city that does not match, you turn him over to the side. He is an inactive team. Okay. So, the inactive teams are not going to help you. Your team has to be active in order to do what he's designed to do. <laughs> now, how do you get teams around the board? Well, there's a drive ferry team action. You don't have to be where that team is. You just say, hey, team, drive. Go. Go. And he drives. <laughs> One link. Yeah. Um... Multiple teams can be in the same city, and teams are not affected by surveillance. So, hey, teams can sometimes do things that you can't or don't want to do. All right, what else can we do? We're just about done with those actions. Um, Actually. Yeah, but if you notice in the the legacy part, oh, there's all these spots for more actions that we could possibly take, which we don't know anything. There's going to be plenty more So these are our current actions, and these are possibilities for more. All right, so after we've taken our four actions, then we're going to do what's called mop-up. Hey, you know where uh, where those active teams are? They take out every bad agent in their city. So if we can get a Soviet team there, then hey, they're going to take out all of... Yeah, we want to spend our time trying to get these teams as quickly as possible. That's almost like a cure of a disease, but not exactly. Because you have to station a team out there in order to have that work. Yeah. There is no sunsetting of agents. We don't have that here. No. <laughs> so, um, then we're going to draw our two player cards. Um, this works much like the normal pandemic, where you're going to draw two cards. If either of them are escalation, which is like an epidemic, you're going to increase the threat and add agents like you would add viruses, and then you're going to intensify by shuffling, putting on top, and then drawing our threat cards, which is the last step, as you normally do. Right. Um, the threat level is currently two. It will stay two, stay two, then go up to three, then three, then four. And when things are probably done the by that worst. point. <laughs> by that point, yeah, if you've gotten not, that far. Not looking good. It's not Especially looking this good. early in the prologue game. <laughs> All right, so remember when I said that outbreaks are not exactly like normal pandemic? Well, instead of it being an outbreak, it's going to be an incident. When an incident occurs in the city, what you're going to do is you're going to put one of these. Ooh, look, these. These are like mating or something. <laughs> They're like together. You're going to put one of these incident tokens in that city. Let's say no, we drew Novo Sibirsk again. That would be awful. We are going to put one of these here. Agents do not spread from there. Right. But we do put one of these here. Any players in that city are going to lose one cover from their current alias unless there's a safe house there. So if you had a safe house there and we were there, we're not going to lose our cover. Uh, then we're going to... Uh, Draw the bottom card from the threat deck and apply whatever incident this is on the card. For example, let me take one of these one of these that's already face up. Already face up. This Sao Paulo card, not only is it used for putting agents in Sao Paulo, there's something here on the bottom. It says teams compromised. It's not clear, so I'll just go ahead and read it to you. Shift each team in a city with surveillance that is not in a safe house to Washington. So Those teams become compromised. They immediately get a free trip back to Washington. That might actually be a good thing. But there are some really bad ones. Let's see. Sleeper cells activate. Place an agent in every city with one or more incident tokens in Europe. Not good. Um, So, some bad thing is going to happen. We don't Um, want that. And... Um, after we put that, after we take this off the bottom, we're going to put this in the game end area, not back into the draw pile or the discard pile. So, you know, this is not going to come up anymore. It's in this game end area. Okay. So, 
Um, so you're going to draw only one threat card, even if that previous incident did a chain reaction and made more incident tokens pop up. You're only going to draw that one incident. The one, uh, the one incident on the bottom of those cards. Yep. So um, then your turn is over, and we're going to keep going until either both of these show completed and or failed. Yep. You can't draw two player cards, just like normal pandemic. You need to place an agent, but the supply is empty, like like viruses in pandemic. Yep. Or you need to place an incident token, okay. but the supply is empty, sort of like the outbreak limit yep. in normal pandemic. Yep. All the yeps. All the yeps. <laughs> and that is pretty much it. So now I can talk about these temporary aliases. Ooh, well, I'm going to name mine Sydney Bristow. So we can be the civic planner when you need to do the build safe house. Hey, you don't need a city card. Mm. As an action, while you're at a safe house, you can discard a city card. To move to any city on the board. Well, that's like pretty that. good. That's discard any city card to move to any city. You don't have to discard the matching one. Because you can do that from anywhere. Yeah, that's not bad. So, um, so that's one of them. The medical conference coordinator. Uh, as an action, you can move a team or a different player's pawn. Now, notice I said a, a different player's pawn. Or a team, that's one of those cool little vans, up to three cities away from its current city. That's for one action. That's pretty good. That's really good. That's not one for one. That's three movement for one action. Right. Uh, the team or pawn does not enter any cities in between. So, hey, if I want to take you out of the place with surveillance, I can bloop, 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 bloop. take you right out. Nice. Um, and you, you literally hop from like... Peking all the way over, you know, to where you're going to go. So, deep, deep, deep. Deep, deep. you don't even pass through those. Right. If it matters. Right. I, we don't even know if it matters or not to pass through a city like that. Yeah. Currently, it doesn't matter. Right. So, uh, another one, a research assistant. When you do the share intel action, you can give anyone. You can, you can, uh, they can take anyone from you. So, basically, you are the giver of cards at that point. Yes. You can give anywhere. It's very helpful yeah. for collecting cards. You can give any card you have, but you still both have to be in the same location. Yeah. Last but not least, the hospital administrator. You can do the assemble team action yes. with one fewer card. Oh, oh. We like that. We like that. So you can assemble teams with four cards instead of five. I don't care which one I've got. Just give me one. Oh, no. We should. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Any suggestions? Any suggestions from... I'm thinking probably a While I hydrate. Oh, a, time to hydrate. A uh, safe house and um, share intel, maybe? We played all four of them. I know. I, I, don't, played, I don't know. I played two and you've played two. I think we should do these. There you go. I'll she has these. given me the research assistant. That's the one where I'm, get, I'm feeding her cards. Actually, we should choose this. After we've taken our cards, because in the setup. I already have my cards. Oh, here's my cards. So, I want to take a look. Oh, no. You need to be. Because I've got three neutrals. Well, we don't really have problems in the neutral area. No, we don't. Well, However, a few problems if I there. have five cards, then that's good, right? I mean, if I get five cards, I can put a neutral team down. That's true. You need to make a neutral safe house. Well, I'd have to also. Well, do you, what is your what is yours that you're doing? Are you? I gonna, was going to do the safe house. Oh, one. I am the civ. I'm the clinic planner. Ho, ho, ho. Well, if you want me to pass you cards, I will have to. You get the civic planner. I don't know. What yeah, you, I don't know. That's what, good. I don't know what you did with it. You just lost. Did it. what? The what what happened? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Boom. All right. So I can share intel. All right, so uh, choose characters and aliases. Gather all the pawns and randomly select one. Ah. All righty. What do we got? You. No! Why is that bad? Because I want you to pass. Oh, I can take cards. You can take Never cards mind. from me. Never mind, I can take cards. That's the whole point. That's the point. I only have one neutral, oh, I, though. You only have one neutral? But we need to save our Europe cards. You don't have any Europe cards, right? No. No Europe. Mm. 
No Europe. No Europe. All right, well. Calcutta we seems good. I just don't have an easy way to get there. Yeah. Um, I'm still going to need five to create a team there. Not good. Showtime. <laughs> Showtime. I know. That probably took longer. <laughs> I was complaining for I mean, the first 10 to... minutes about my cameras being sad. <laughs> yeah, we wanted to explain everything. Well, yeah. So, people can really get into it with us. Yeah. Boy, having a bunch of neutrals at the start, really not great. It's not helpful because most of Europe is not neutral. I mean, I guess it could be Madrid. There are guys in Madrid that we can uh, cancel out. Uh, but having neutrals is not the most beneficial to us at the moment. At the moment. But we are going to be having all these problems, so it would be good to get a neutral van out there. One, two, three. I can get to Manila, but I can't do anything about all of that stuff. That I can't do anything about all the stuff. Uh, How do you... Lima, Lagos. I don't have... Do you have any... So you have only neutral in your hand? I have three neutral and a Soviet. Hmm. Go, go Soviet. fish. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's true. Well, I can um, give you this card if you want it. Uh, hopefully it's closer than where I've got because I can't get anywhere with the crap I've got. It's the problem. Well, I, I have Algiers. That's not well, really close at all, but... Mm, it's well, not going to be enough. You only have four actions, so... I only have four actions. What's the neutral card you said you had? That's the one. Oh, neutral I have is uh, Karachi. That is not Karachi. neutral. There's a little... Right here. Karachi? That's good. Yeah. I can at least discard to... Uh, so, taking, moving to Karachi, 3-4 is not great. No, you don't want to end up there with three dudes. <laughs> <laughs> Two, I could put a safe house down here. Um... Um, oh, where are you? Four, have Delhi. I have Delhi. Why do I need Delhi? Oh, you have a put. You put Explain one for free. Me. Oh, yes. yeah. Putting one for free would be good. Yeah, I can put a safe house for free. Cause he, yeah, yeah, he took that dude. Oh, and as an action, while at a safe house, I can discard a city card to move to any city on the board. Oh, you're at a safe house. Well, hey. There you go. What do I need any of that other stuff for? So, yeah, hey, Rob, get, why don't you tell him? Yeah, Gosh. Rob. <laughs> we're looking at you. All right, <laughs> give me, give to me what? Your, your neutral card. That way I'll have four of them when I'm out there. That's there one. There you go, one. Is that a neutral seat? I can move anywhere. Boom, two. I've swore not to interfere. Uh, you swore <laughs> with who? You can interfere with us. <laughs> we don't care. And, you know, I'm going to take off a couple of these uh, Calcutta Jokers. He's like, I re he's like, I don't remember how to play. <laughs> <laughs> I use that excuse all the time. Yeah. Um, so, I have taken four actions. Uh, I'm going to pull two cards from way over there. Oh, that's fantastic. No. How about an escalation? Why is this happening? Right off to the bat. Why is this happening? Happening. You should have shuffled better. I did. Did you shuffle? I, I, it was at the bottom, so it shuffle? made it all the way to the top, so I did. I'm glad this is the prologue and not like the thing that's going to really affect This us is why we play the prologue everything. like five times. All right, people. we get three in Leopoldville. One, two, three. Uh, uh, uh. No. Yes, unfortunately. We're going to have look, like they're all in the neutral areas. All the incidents ever. Reset, reset. <laughs> Abort, abort, <laughs> abort, 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 abort. <laughs> We're going to draw two because that's what the threat level is. All right, not Boom. Manila Manola. or Novo. Not Manila, not Novo, not Leopoldville. Well, what? what? Gu oh. Guess what happened? We oh, hit yeah. three down there. This is bad. Yeah. What is it? Cairo. Okay. That's good. That's fine. And? Not dead yet. Sao Paulo. Not dead yet. Woo! Still not dead. Boom. <sighs> Guys, I get so I get so stressed. I get so stressed. And I did not draw a neutral, sadly. <laughs> ah, well, okay. What do I do? <laughs> That's a really good That's question. Really, what do you do? That's a really good question, Steph. Ah. I have not I don't have good cards. Time to hydrate. Yeah, I just um 
Yeah. <laughs> I can get here. I like how they put One, the, these two, in the three. single serving size. It's That's really good. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Get, get a cup. Um, I have a cup. It's a two liter cup. Mm. So Shapes, I just share intel with you. Suspiciously like a bottle. Yeah, that'd be nice if you were in my city. Right. And so I there's not much I can do. I have no neutral cards. So, <laughs> Tom Lehman is about the only designer who actually remembers all the rules to all his games. <laughs> uh, yeah, and Tom is, Tom is fantastic. He actually remembered me um, in uh, Niagara, where we were. So, I'm going to fly there for free. Yes. And I'm going to discard it to fly there for two. Oh, that's the second action. That's the third action. Three to knock that off. And I'm thinking I should... Uh, should I do here or should I go here? Should you go where? I can't. I could do another one. Well, uh, what was what was your? I could go here, here, or here. Why? Because I I was in Algiers. I can go anywhere. Oh, well, we don't want this to get messed up. I mean, we actually have to put a team there at some point. I know. Well, all right. So these these two are still a problem. Yeah, they're still a problem. So I'm gonna get and rid I'm of closer. Two of them. I'm closer to both of them than you. Right. So I got rid of two in uh, Novo there. Two in Novo. All right. Cool. Cool. So. Oh. Um, oh no! Oh no! Yeah. Well, your, it's probably gonna be fine. Two. It should be fine. It'll be fine. It's probably fine. It's dancing. Well, it's gonna be fine. I got. I got. Some... Well, it's gonna be fine for a little while because you shuffle that escalation right to the freaking top. I know, right? Uh, put one card. I have an action here. Oh, what is it? It reads, "Put one card from the threat discard pile." That's here. Into the game end area. Well, we don't want to do that yet. No, but I have it. Tada! We're gonna do this. Madrid. Well, we are getting lucky. This is not great. Well, yeah, but it's not. It's it's We're now not... at three. Incident. Leopoldville. No, I almost uh, went there. Incident. Oh, no. Hey, what's the incident? Oh. Paris is not. Paris is not this city. That's actually good information. To no, no, wait a second. You, it's, it's not it these. It can be Paris. It's not this. It's not that. It can be. Or is Paris. that supposed to be what we put there? No, we have we didn't do that before. Did we mess it Unless up? Unless we messed it up before in our other two games, which is possible. I don't know. So maybe Rob can can help us out. I think that we put the right card remember. in here. I think we put the right one. Alright, so Sleeper cells activate. Place an agent in every city with one or more incident tokens in North America. Nope, doesn't happen. We don't have any incident. In there should America. be a Europe card. There is a Europe card, but should it be a brown backed or a green, green backed? backed? Yeah, which I think one? we've got it right. I think we have it right, but uh, yeah. Player card, you're right. Yes, okay, good. Just making sure. Just <laughs> we did it right. We did it right. The other games too. We didn't so do it right good. the other games. That's what well, we, we did don't before. want to mess it up with you right here. I know. Gosh, I mean, how embarrassing. We got to do it right. <laughs> I'm a designer. I understand these things. It's important. It's important. All right. Uh, no, does, so we, th this goes here. Uh, yeah, the Paris goes in game end. Yes. It does not go into. Mm, yeah, so, so we sad. won't get any in Paris. Okay, all right. Not dead yet. Uh, I can go to Manila and pull. I can pull one. But I'm not going to be able to actually like get to Leopoldville and and mess with. But fortunately, hey, we could well, pull we could pull that out right now. While you're here, we could pull this out. Yeah, I can drop one down. I absolutely can. Do but you do you want, want to remove want, this? Um, we can. We can. And then we don't have to worry about it. It's true. Sure. Where let's... do we Where do we want this? Do we want it down in Manila? I don't know. You're, you're, I can go one, two, pull that dude off Manila and drop oh, down the safe house. Yeah, you can. Yeah, let's do that. One, two, pull a guy off of Manila. I can put a safe house here or Calcutta. Either space. Or Bangkok. Or Bangkok. But I'd have to go to it no matter what. I think right there because we already have a problem in Manila. Manila. So let's see. Put one of the threat discard. So Leopoldville let's use it. is now in game end. All right. 
So we don't have to like worry about that. We don't have to worry about that now. We're just going to leave that there. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> Won't solve their agents anymore. All right. So we're going to draw two cards. Oh, a fifth Ooh. one. Any yes. Europe. Any Europe. Uh, yeah, I've got two Europe. I got one. And my Europe's are Soviet Europe's. Oh. Me too. Oh, East. it's not in East Berlin or Warsaw. Or Warsaw. Kiev. East Berlin, War, Warsaw, Kiev. Right. So that leaves a few places. Yeah, you're See, not... See, if, you if you can narrow it down, that's what you're trying to do. It's trying to narrow down but where it is. But we could just spend three... Wow. Whoops. What did you just do? I just, Ruined it. I, I went like this and scooped it. I don't know everything. where that, that was. was. Cairo. Okay. That was also Cairo. Thank you. All right. Yeah. And we're going to infect. No. One in Novo, one in Osaka. Boop. All right. All right. She's not being surveilled. I'm not. Be, I will not be surveilled mm. when that happens. So your four actions. I uh, can't do much. So I have three Soviet cards. One of which is Europe, which I want to get to you. But you're like really not, far not away. Not at the moment. I'm about to create. Uh, one of the mobile teams. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I've got five neutrals. I don't got I plan. can create a neutral team, and he can, like, wander around while I go elsewhere. How do I, like, get anywhere? <laughs> I should have took the guy that allows well, me to, like, move. Yeah. Um, because right now, I am in the middle of Nowhereville. Uh, though that would be really good if for some reason we could build a safe house there. Uh, right there. I mean, then uh, a team there, rather. Because we need the team in order to find Sabic. I can build one there. I have you Shanghai. You can build a what? A safe house. You don't need to build a safe house. I know. You get that ability or to yourself. I've got that. I'm just, I don't know what I I didn't. What I, I meant do. a team, not a safe house. Okay, I can't. You should listen to my thoughts and not what I actually say. I'm going to remove these two guys. One, two. That's two actions. And then... I don't know. I guess I'll start coming this way. Uh, there's a problem with that. What? You see all these little eyeballs all on your way? I do. Yeah, I do. you should have left a guy there. If you uh, leave a guy, you can actually make a taste I have to board. leave a guy because I got to get somewhere safe. You got to get somewhere safe. And so that's what I'm doing. That's and, what you're doing. Uh, drawing two? Drawing two. You safe? Yes. All right. I'm going to draw Atlanta. So I'm going to turn these this way. Atlanta. Atlanta Ugh. And Calcutta. Calcutta. India. There it is. There it is. There, there it is. is. Oh, gosh. All right. Team. I am discarding five neutrals. Oh, good. Put out that team. Five Ooh. neutrals makes a team. Now, I can discard a card to go anywhere I want. There's a problem with that. And that both of these are Europe cards. I don't want to discard them. I don't think you should. So the next question is, where can I go to make the most impact? So there is no connectivity between things below my hand and above my hand. So yeah. if I go over to Calcutta, I'm stuck on the bottom half instead of the top half. Right. I mean, this, this I might do be need a to, problem. I do need to make a safe house in Europe because you need to be at a safe house, right? I know. In order yeah. to do the three card trick. Right. So I just I do need to make my way there. Yeah, it'd be really great. That uh, would be really. You great. could come up and over and come. One, two, three. You four, know, get five. to Atlanta and deal with this. <laughs> oh crap! Atlanta's a problem, isn't it? It is a problem at the moment. Yes. All right, that was one action. I can get to Atlanta, but I can't do anything about I know, it yet. So I yeah. Uh, Atlanta just came up though, so we. Right, but we're we're probably gonna one. hit an escalation any minute. So yeah, I can get there, but I don't want to be there when everything outbreaks. I know, agreed. Hmm. You could get rid of oh, the. You can move a van if you don't want to move you. You can move. No, I want to keep the van there to kill those two guys. Right. The van doesn't. If the van doesn't move, the van is going to mop up. Right. Yeah. Um, 
I basically got three actions to spend. Well, you can go get rid of one of those dudes. It's not huge priority when the van can do it for free. I think I'm um, just going to one, two. Acquire targets, no. Commercial flight, yeah, you don't want to lose one, one of your cards. Two. I could end up in Toronto. And you don't have any blue cards, do you? They're one, both Soviet. two, three. Blue? Yeah. I just have Soviet. Otherwise, yeah. I'd fly. I know. That's what I... I just want no. to make sure you didn't have blue. No. Allied. No, I'll just walk it. Walk a walk a. I'll walk it. Give me a Europe All right. card. Good card. If I get a Europe card, I'm only two away from Europe. I know. It's really good. No. No. Nope. I, I can give you one if I can However, get to oh, I can put a safe house onto any one city on the board. That's helpful. I can do that for you whenever you need Great. it. Great. That's really Whenever, good. even if it's not my turn. So, we've got one in Manila, one in New York. No. Oh, looking bad. Oh, those over guys here. were supposed to go away, right? Oh, yeah. Manila. Uh, so there's Manila. So there is going to still be one in Manila. Yeah. Because after the cleanup, one plops down. Right. Yeah, there is no sun setting. All right, so I can fly here and deal with this, or I can walk here and deal with one of these things, one of these guys. Mm. If you can get to me, I can give you the Europe card you need for next turn. Oh. So maybe I should plant you can, myself here how can you, or here. Time out. How can you get it to me? Because that's my power. I give you cards. Oh, you give me. Oh, yeah. I, I'm not the giver. You're the giver. Right. Yeah, so you give me a Soviet card. So do you want me to be here or do or, you want me to be here? Uh, a, you're giving me a Europe card, not a Soviet card. So. Yes. Yes. Well, it's one and the same in this case. Uh, yeah, if you come this way, I can start heading that way. All I right. can hit New York on the way. So one, two, three. Jerk. Take them off. Two cards. <laughs> this mops up. Ooh, I got another that Europe card. That team is good. Wow. That's really good. Did you did you do this? Did I do what? Flip two. Uh, no, because you haven't told me that whether there's an escalation. No escalation. Or not. Yeah, she uh, she commonly does this. I'll hand her two cards and then I'll sit there and wait. <laughs> wait. And it's wait, like crickets. Beep beep. <laughs> Prague, Delhi. We're starting to get some new ones, which is good. Let this thing go deep. Deep. Delhi. Delhi. Yep. Prague. Alrighty. Alright. Cool, cool. Alright. I guess I'm heading to you. Seems like a plan. <clears throat> One, two, three. Take a card. Probably. One. Two. Three. Four. So that's three Europe's. I need to add a safe house. I need to add a safe house. I need to discard three Europe cards in order to get that. Yes. So it's not in Paris, too. So that's good to know. Right. I just picked that up. Right. Um, well, we're about to find out exactly where it is. So I'm going to draw two. I've got five <gasps> now. We're safe. Oh, yeah. And I've got Ooh, my fourth yeah. Europe card. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to... I'm not going to know... Let's see, I think I'm going to discard my two ally... Mm, I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Yeah. Let's find out where this goes. Bangkok, Shanghai. Nice. One night in Bangkok. Bangkok. Oriental City. The city don't know what the city is getting. Creme de la creme. All right, you. <laughs> no, you. It, it was me. It's you. It's me. It's a, it's a you, a Mario. I can give you cards. Uh, I've got seven. I can place a safe house if you want to give me one. Uh, yeah, we should just do that. Yep. So if I place it here. You should put it. I should put it in. Yeah, I, I should put it either. This is the catch. Right. If I put it in an allied, then five allied will give us a, will give us a team. Right. If I put it in a Soviet. Five Soviet will give us a team. Right. There's the catch. Which one is it? Which one is it more likely to be? Well. We've seen London. We've seen Paris. You have Soviet cards in your hand, right? Or are they all I'm, I'm trying to get the point out. Okay. We've seen London. We've seen Paris. There are two more allies. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, we've seen Warsaw. Madrid. We've seen Madrid. No. I'm saying this. We have one neutral possibility. Not what I'm saying. Okay. We already have a neutral team. Right. We can get him there if we have to. Right. So that's not what I'm saying. Between these two, I'm trying to wonder which it is. I have to discard some of these cards. I have a mixture of Allied and Soviet. We have to decide which way we want to go with this. I think we go Soviet. Because if I put a safe house here, I mean, it doesn't matter. It just takes me an action to put one out there. Right. But, so, I'll just put that out there. Let's put this... Double check something here in the rules. Check surveillance. Ignore the surveillance if there's a safe house in your city. Mm -hmm. So that might be good to place in one of these spots yeah. here. I think it should be Soviet because we're going to need a Soviet van anyway to take care of Novo. Yeah. So I'm going to put it in Moscow where there are three surveillances. Yeah, it seems like a... Legit. Or Leningrad. I could put it in Leningrad. That works yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. That's true. That's true. Because it could be Kiev. Well, it could be Warsaw. Oh, no, we've seen Warsaw. And we've seen Kiev. We've seen Kiev? Yes. We have. I have it in my hand. Oh. So Warsaw, Kiev, East Berlin. Uh, six of one, half dozen the other. Put yeah. it in Moscow. All right. And I'll put the other one close. All right, so do you want a card for me? Do you want a blue or do you want a, uh, a red? Uh, I would rather have a red. That's right, one. So one, okay. I was going to go reveal Los Angeles, two, three, three four. four. Woohoo, that was fantastic. Yeah. That was really good. Okay. Good, good job. Luck. Good luck. Good luck. We're okay. We're okay? Yep. Two more. Lima, Washington. We are going deep into the second batch here. Which is which really is, good. It's actually really good unless we get a third one back to back with it. Right. So. All right. I am not at a safe house, but I can create one really quickly. All right. So that is three Europe cards. Europe. Europe. One. Put a safe house. That's two. Discard three cards. Yeah. This is called Identify Target City. Discard three cards matching your region to reveal an unknown target city of that region. There are three cards. This is Leningrad. Woohoo! Nice. And I am already... Three Soviet cards up. Yeah. And I have three as well. You have three Soviet cards? You're like way over in Atlanta though. Yeah. So that was my third action. Yeah. I can stay here if I want. I can move one closer to... Uh, oh, do you have an allied city in your hand? I do. Oh, I can go to Rome and uh, or wherever. And you... You can fly over to me and hand me a couple of cards. Yeah, I can. That sounds like a good plan. Because as long as we fulfill these two objectives, we're done. Which means uh, one team is going to be really good. I mean, it'd be really... You know what? I don't have to move at all. I can move this dude. Yeah, you I can, can only move in one space. How many actions do you got? Two? I've got one. I've, I've moved. I put a safe house. Identified city, and I've got one more action left. Action. I could stay there. Yeah, you're in a safe house, so the eyeball doesn't, the surveillance doesn't hurt. Right. Right. And I can discard a card to go anywhere I want. And I do have an extra card. If you can. So go... I can either move this guy to Bangkok or move this guy up towards Osaka to just neutralize those dudes. Yeah. Not that they're a big threat, but it takes They, they it might takes be in a minute. Them. <laughs> they might be in a minute. All right, so I'm going to move this to Saigon. Turn him over because he's inactive because he's in a allied city at the moment. Right. All right, I'm going to draw two cards. No. Safe. No. Not safe. Not safe. I knew it. You knew it. I mean, it was about time. Bogota. 
One. No. Two. Three. We have a little. We have a stack here. It's getting a little low. Yeah, we need to take care of some of these. Dudes. So Bogota is the only one that can. The board cause is us looking problems. really red. <laughs> For a not really red game. Well, well here's really the thing. Red. As long as we can get that, create the van. Right. Go to Novo, take care of that. Backtrack to Leningrad, take care of that. We're done. And either of us can do that. We don't have to be in a safe house. We just activate the van in that city. Advance a threat. Oh, thank you. We, did we do that? We did. We, only we did got, it last time. We did it, yeah. We still pulled two, though. Thankfully. We did pull. We did pull two. No, I'm so nervous. Attention. Washington. Okay, I like that. Bogota. Bogota. No, Lima. Oh, shut it. <laughs> <laughs> Made her worry that long. Uh, All right. Worst. Okay. I'm the worst. So that means it's my turn. That means it's your turn. What am I? Where am I going? I'm in Atlanta. I don't have an Atlanta card, so. I go to Los Angeles, and then I discard Los Angeles to fly anywhere. N no, this is an allied city. Yeah, but I thought I can fly to any allied oh, you city. Can, oh, you can't fly to that unless you have Los Angeles. But mind, I discard I it, and I can go here. Yes, that's two. Um, you got two more actions? Yeah, I'm going to give you some cards. I only, uh, yep, that's what I need. Three, do, you four. Too, do you have too many cards now? Nope. I'm at seven. All right. Mistakes were made because nope. Bogota is going to like nope. surveil. It'll be fine. It's going to be great. It'll okay. be great. Oh, hey. I got a, I got a forecast. Should we use it? Ooh. Can I which use is, it? Which is better than a three cast. Not quite as good as a five cast. Look at the next six threat cards. Rearrange them in any order and return them to the top of the threat deck. You check threat hand size Ooh. at any time. You can never, when you draw over seven, you, have to you discard. discard down. Yeah. I think we should use it. Uh, Like right this second. Why not? Which is between drawing them into your hand and in increasing the threat. The, the in What is it? What is the actual step called? Drawing threat cards. You can do it in between. So what? One, two, three, four, five, five six. six. Let's put these in a good order where we're not going to like... Uh, we have no Bogota. Osaka, no, no good, Bogota. Good, Madrid, good. Calcutta. Okay. Two, New York. Two, 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 two. Sao Paulo. Two, two, two. Atlanta. Two. Look at that. All two. So. We're good for the next three right. turns. It was basically to prevent Bogota from exploding right now. Yes, which is good. And yep, two of those. What is it? Matt's hand size has been the same since he was in junior high. Osaka and Madrid. Whoops, can you fix this? Osaka and Madrid. Well, this is a problem. Here. I know, if we run out of little red dudes, then we're also going to die. So, <laughs> we need to take care of that. Well, if we move this too, but... Yeah. Well, you can go anywhere, so you should go and put the van down. Well, I'm, I'm sure. definitely going to put the van down. You need to put so the van So, I'm going to discard a card. Yeah. To fly to anywhere. Because I'm in a safe house. And right. That is my power. That's, well, his, say, that's his Discard power. one to move to any city on the board. Doesn't have to be this one, but why would I not? Because for five cards, my second action is to create... Plop it down. A Soviet van. For action numbers three and four, I'm going to move this guy right here. And then during the mop-up step, it's going to take all of them out. Well, is that... Is that next? That's mop up is actually is step three. Okay, yeah, it is. Okay, cool. Nice. Nice. Because we're gonna get another escalation step right now. Uh. Oh my god. Yes, you're right. Oh no. Gosh, I knew it. Yes, you're right. Oh, this is bad. Toronto. Oh man, this is bad. This is look no. And I'm gonna put this little measly stack right here, and now we are Drive at level three. Three. Oh no! Oh no! Ah, we got five little dudes left. <laughs> five little dudes. Hey, don't you wish you had a forecast right now? It wouldn't really help that much, but yeah. Well, all right, here we go. Ow. Osaka. Hmm. Okay. Madrid. Hmm. Okay. Lima. 
Wow. We got seriously lucky with no surveillance. Well, there is still a problem. I understand that there's a problem. Because to end the game, you're going to need five actions. One, I know. acquire target is two. Move, move, acquire target is action five, of which you have, that's your fifth action of four. I know. Okay, well, we'll do this. One, two. Two is going to be search for Agent Sabic, right? Yeah. Well, let's, let, well, first let's think about it. Let's make sure we've got enough dudes to survive. Well, that's going to be the third dude. Well, that's what I mean. This is going to come off. I can so come that's over gonna be here okay. and get rid of one of those. So that's going to be okay. Yeah. All right, so she has acquired the target. We are going to read debrief 214. And don't worry, this is not, is literally not going to spoiler anything for you. So we are going to read 214. So uh, Rob has suggested uh, that whenever you have completed any of these debrief sections, that you can put, uh, you can circle it, put a little check mark by it, because you can come back and reread any of these again. And so in case you just need to like piece together some thematic parts of the story or whatever. Um, 214. <clears throat> you picked up traces of Sabic, but nothing definitive. A few locals indicated that they saw someone matching his description, but the individual was bundled up. You can't determine at the moment why he hasn't come in or made contact. And it says here at the bottom in bold, sometimes there will be text at the end of the paragraph that gives further instructions. In this case, there is no further information. So, that means complete. That means failed. We have completed that one. Yes! Cha-ching! Cha-ching! Completed objective! All right, that's two of your actions. Yeah. You have two more. Three. Four. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, why not? Right? I, I don't really have anything else going on. That look, looks good. If we have an escalation, it's over. No, it won't be an escalation because you've got those back to back, basically. All right. So, yeah, we're good. We're good. We got uh, this. Yeah, now three cards. Three cards. We'll be saved because we're going to Toronto. Have... Here we go. Surveillance oh. incident marker. Incident. So, <laughs> put an incident token in the city, then immediately draw from the threat deck. We are just. Place an agent in every city with one or more incident tokens in South America. All right. Nothing, Nothing different happened. So Excellent. now we're going to go into number two. Yep. Now, the game didn't say that only one incident token or one incident happens per turn. It's one incident happens per incident. Incident, yeah. Even if it spawns more incidents. Right. Washington. Not another incident. Okay, last one. Calcutta. Not another incident. All right, two two incidents on the board. We have end. one lone red <laughs> right here, but it's going to well, no, end. This is this is supposed to be my. Oh, up. bloop! Two, two, just like I said, two lone <laughs> reds right here. We still have five more outbreaks. This is the got. best we've done. This no. No, yeah, the first game we had three incidents. Oh, and the, the, incident the, the wise, the this second is the game best. we've had four. <laughs> so. Yeah, that was bad. Uh, All right, so on my turn, I'm going to go a one, a two. A one, two, three, four. <laughs> All right, so, um, and I'm going to acquire the target. Oh, hey, it's in Leningrad. I know it's in Leningrad. It matches this. We have completed that. Yay! Oh, look, read debrief 160. 160. You intercepted the courier and secured the Medusa sample. Before your team could interrogate, the courier took a cyanide pill. As you do. As you do. Analysis of the Medusa sample revealed it's biological, but nothing you've seen before. Not CODA, not smallpox, not anthrax. Take the target city card under the objective and add it to the hand of the player who completed this objective. Not that it matters because the game is As now complete. <laughs> over. And that is the prologue. Ta -ta. And from what I understand, January will be similar. However, there's stuff in the legacy deck that we have not encountered from January because we're supposed to draw this card at the beginning of January and then keep going down the legacy deck. So. Good work, agents! Woo! <laughs> so, 
That's Pandemic Legacy Season I'm Zero. So it's got enough of the flavor uh, as Pandemic has, just like those other uh, the other Pandemic Legacy games. They have they have just enough of the flavor of Pandemic, but with different things, you know, sort of knit in there. So, I like the spies. Yeah, I like the spy theme. It's really well, cool. You know, I'm gonna like spies. Of course, of course, of course. Um, yeah, no. Spies like me. And the question is, do we play it on the live stream through the whole thing? I don't. I know a lot of people don't want to be spoiled. I totally respect and understand that. But are is there enough? Are there enough of you out there with uh, with you viewers on the channel? Do you got? Would you guys want to see like a Saturday playthrough? Full of spoilers, and we put a big, huge spoiler like, tag right place. at the start, saying <laughs> spoilers, because, so they won't even click on it. If because they, we all know that I just want to sit here and play it like all weekend and just and, like, and finish will. it because that's how we played the other two a few months ago, and I, we played it all day on the weekend. Because once it's on the table, I'm like let's just play more, let's play more, let's play more. Oh my god, let's play more. Let's take a break, Steph. No, let's play more. I don't mind spoilers. Well, you know what? So, <laughs> I understand you are out of the door. Rob doesn't mind spoilers. <laughs> uh, he's forgotten them anyway. He'd be yeah, like, he'd be like, wow. What comes that's, next? What's what comes the next? <laughs> What's this? What's, What's this? this? What's da, 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 da. Uh, it's Halloween time. Look at my Halloween shirt. I got a Halloween shirt from Think Geek a few years ago. What was this? 2014, I got this wow. Think Geek shirt. A few years ago. It's like it 2014. Six years Back ago. when time meant things. Um, so we're still debating if we're going to do this on the live stream. I'm thinking we might. I just need to um, get the cameras going and, and stuff. Yeah, we need to make sure that we have something better than OBS. <laughs> As you do. But um, yeah, we're going to pick this up and we're going to come right back and play Cartographer Heroes. And everybody yes, can play everyone along. Everyone can play along with us as we play. No spoilers. No spoilers. <laughs> oh, man, this is so much fun. This is so much fun. I'm so excited. So, yeah, so game of the year, possibly. That's oh. what I said in my you know, review. I don't you've know. You've played like, all of the Pandemic Legacies this year. I know. So this, the question is, which is the which best? one will be your... So what? let me ask you this. Of season one and two, which of the two was your favorite? Well, so they both offer really different and cool things. And I think there was a bigger challenge in two to do everything correctly, <laughs> which we didn't necessarily do. Uh, uh, though, uh, I will say this. Oh. Our score, I've only seen one person beat that score. And that was Rado. He beat us by one point, I believe. 2-0, whatever it was. It was like, yeah, it was like... He beat us by one point. Or like, we're so close, too. It was like, ah. Oh. And he is the, he, that's the only one I've seen that's, that's, come, that's <laughs> even come close to our score. So I'm proud of what we did. Oh, we did really well. We did really well. Considering. And we did a really good... We... Our prediction of how the final scoring would be calculated was fairly good. So we were on the right path yeah. for all of that. Yeah. So, so we will see. And that was not even a spoiler. But as right. you, for those people who have played any of the Legacy games... You're, you do have a final score at the end, and it is calculated based on several factors. And what you're doing, and how well so you did. So, how well you and did, and <laughs> so. Uh, how, how, many, how many times you won or lost, all of that those things. That kind of thing. Yeah, that all calculates at the end. And um, so, I think I rate them about the same, and... Uh, yeah. I don't know. I think one was a little bit higher, but it was like the same rating. So, it's like, it's really... Depends on the day. <laughs> And this might pass it. I'm excited. So Who like, knows? I we, don't know. I watched someone play like I would I passed by Pandemic Legacy season two before it was widely available. I saw someone playing it and there was just a little piece of the map open and I'm like This doesn't look like Pandemic Legacy on the world and everything is like are, are they on an island <laughs> or what is the deal? And it's different. It's different. It's and really so different. Yeah. 
So, and that's why I think a lot of people didn't like it as much because it just felt really different. They were expecting the first one all over again. But I, I like no, the different experience. I like exactly. the different so experience. I, I liked it a lot. Um, I like both of them a lot. And this already feels a lot different while feeling similar and something that you know, even though you're doing different things. So I really like that. And um, Similar but not the same Similar actions. but not the same. I liked, similar but not the same I actually mechanics. like the art a whole lot more in the second one. I really like the art. Oh, with all the bold colors? No, yeah. it wasn't bold colors. It was like... I named all my characters after the 100 characters. Oh, yeah. You totally did. And they have, like, this, like, post-apocalyptic kind of think look. Think different, and everything. Yeah. Uh, it was it was really nice. I really liked the art direction on that. And it, it kind of gave me a, a cool feeling. But, um, yeah, I think... The post-apocalyptic, uh, yeah. middle of nowhere sort of feel to it. So, so I definitely yeah, like the, the whole vibe of the second one. I think better than the first one, but I think I like the first one a little bit better. It's really hard. It's really hard to say. It's really hard to say. So just play them all. <laughs> I think you're going to like this one the best. This one might be the best. I, I have a feeling. And I know Charlotte's going to like this one the best. Yeah, well, obviously. Spies. And she's still here. <laughs> oh, she's still here. She's got to be here. She's got to be here. She's got to be right. here. So all right. So we're going to put gonna, this away. I'm going to and... cut, and then we'll be right back. So give us, uh, give us a couple minutes, and we will try to figure out this whole camera thing, too. So Yeah. See you in a minute. Okay.